the feedback you see as you sketch allows you to capture geometric relations automatically. However, you can also add relations manually. For example, if I want to make this angled line horizontal, all I need to do is select it. When I do, you see the Feature Manager tree changes to show me the properties of the line. This panel is called the Property Manager. The options I want to focus on are these. These are geometric relations that can be added to the line, including horizontal. When I select horizontal, you see the line will change to be horizontal. This can also be done through the pop-up toolbar. When I select a sketch segment, available geometric relations are visible in the top row of the pop-up toolbar. If you're new to SolidWorks and geometric relations, I would suggest using the Property Manager. This way you can see the name of the relation next to each icon. Once you get more familiar with geometric relations, you might find it faster to use the pop-up toolbar instead. The options you see in the Property Manager and the pop-up toolbar depend on the geometry you select. For instance, at the end of this line, I'll attach a three-point arc. If I want to make the arc tangent to the line, I'll select both items by holding down my control key and selecting both. And now you see the geometric relations that are possible between the line and the arc. One of the options is tangent. Notice the horizontal option is no longer on the list because it doesn't make sense with the line and arc selected. Another method of adding geometric relations is by clicking on this icon here. It's called Add Relation. The Add Relations dialog appears in the Property Manager, and I can add geometric relations between different sketch elements by selecting them in the Graphics area and allowing SolidWorks to tell me what relations are possible between the selected segments. Between this line and circle, I'll create a tangent relation by simply selecting the Tangent button. The newly added relation appears in the existing relations window here. Notice the Property Manager for Add Relation is by default pinned. This allows me to create multiple geometric relations without having to relaunch the command. Geometric relations can also be moved. By clicking on the flag representing the relation, the two sketch entities that are related will highlight. In the case of this line, coincident with the circle, the endpoint of the line and the circle highlight. In the case of the tangent relation, the circle and the line highlight. Another method of deleting relations is to delete the sketch element that has the relation. By doing this, any geometric relations associated with that piece of geometry will appear in the Property Manager in the existing Relations window. You can then select on the relation in the existing Relations window. The elements that are related and the associated relation flag will highlight. Then simply hit the Delete key on your keyboard or select Delete from the right-click menu. You can also view a listing of all geometric relations. You can use this icon here. It's called Display Delete Relations. Not only can you view all of the relations in the current sketch, you can also delete them if you need to. One more useful option here is this drop-down list. We'll learn later that geometric relations fall into several categories. This list allows you to filter out only certain types. It's very useful when working with sketches to be able to see the relations between sketch elements, so the geometric relation flags are very helpful. If you don't like working with them or perhaps have a sketch that has so many geometric relations it becomes cumbersome to view the screen, you can turn off the display of the flags. From the View drop-down menu, uncheck Sketch Relations. The use of geometric relations is one way to control sketch geometry. The other method is by using dimensions to define the size of geometry. Let's take a look at how to use dimensions next. 